Now, if you're a self-publisher, you likely sell books over on Amazon KDP. But in today's video, we're gonna look at an alternative where you can sell directly to your customers. So, why might you want to sell directly to your customers? So number one is just the control. You control that whole journey. You control the emails that you gather, and you're not limited to what Amazon want to push. You also control your own account. You know, there are some risks by going all in on one platform. Your account could get suspended, for example, and then all of your earnings are gonna go away. Whereas if you control that journey, if you sell direct to your customers, that's gonna no longer be a concern. The second option as well is price. So let's say you sell your digital downloadable book for $5. It's likely that Amazon is gonna take a dollar, $2 as a cut of that sale. Whereas if you sell direct to customer, you're gonna keep the whole of that $5. However, there are some downsides, and the main downside that there is out there is just visibility. The reason why we sell on Amazon is because there's millions of customers already on there. But if you can build a mailing list, maybe through QR code, signups, all that kind of thing, and get your customer base built, then perhaps it's a good idea to build your own store and sell directly to your customers. And in order to do that, we're gonna use Everbee. So I mentioned Everbee store recently. It's a new option that Everbee have released. And it just allows you the ability to create your own store, sell your own products directly to consumers. I started creating my own site and this is what it looks like so far. So yeah, it's not perfect, but it only took me minutes to create the whole site. So you've got a nice banner at the top, a little hero section, and then here are the coloring books that I'm selling through this website. I've also got an email gathering section here, which hopefully is gonna help me to grow my customer base over time. So yeah, I've just got a home section. I've got all my coloring books where I've just got one so far. And then I also link directly to the Amazon store as well, which is great in case anyone wants to buy a paperback version of these coloring books. I've got an about us section, which was automatically created and I just edited it. And again, you've got things like the help and return policy section. And these were automatically generated by Everbee's AI. And then I just update them depending on what I wanted to include. So going back to the store, it looks like this. You've got your dashboard, which will give you the amount of visitors and all those kind of stats. But the main section we're gonna look at today is creating a product so we can sell them directly on our website. So here you've got products. And this is where I've set up this minimal boho coloring book. But I'm gonna take you through how to add a product to your Everbee store. So all you do is click add product, give it a title and a description. And then if you're selling digital products like I am here, you just click attach digital product. And then here you can either include a link to your file or you can upload your file directly, which is what I'm gonna do here. And for me, I like to include a PDF file with all of the images on that one PDF file. That saves uploading, say, 30 individual images, and it also makes it feel like a bit more of a premium experience. So as they say, here's one I made earlier. So this is my Simply Food coloring book, and it's got 30 coloring pages in it, and they're all just pretty simple, minimalistic, bold and easy, designs of food and drink items. So I have this all ready now for exporting. And now all we're gonna do is go back to this page and upload our digital product. So to do that, all you do is click this attach file and we upload it here. Now, what you also wanna do is include a product preview. So for this, a good idea is the front cover or a few example pages. So I've just included the front cover and a few example pages. We're gonna select a category. So this is going in books and then we click next. Then you can set a price for your purchase and also a previous price, which is quite nice because it makes it appear like it's on sale. And if this costs you a certain amount per item, such as shipping, etc., you can include that there as well. That's gonna give you your profit margin, which is really handy to see. But as this is a digital product, we keep the entire 100% of this royalty. So you can include a personalization option if you want here, and then you can add some product tax. You can add it to a collection. So I'm gonna add this one to coloring for adults and coloring for kids because it's suitable for both. And then you can even optimize your search engine listing. 
So all we need to do now is create product and then that's gonna be live on my Everbee store in seconds. So generally with digital downloadable coloring pages, I've been trying to sell them over on Etsy. Now it is very, very competitive over there and I found that you need to list your products for maybe around 199. Then the Etsy fees come out of that as well and you also need to advertise. So you're probably making a few cents for every sale. Whereas if I can get customers direct to my shop, there's every chance I can make several dollars for every sale. And so if you come back on over to the website, we can see that if we scroll down, our new coloring book here is live for purchase. And so if we click on it, you can see what it looks like. So it's got the cover here, and then it's got the example coloring pages, so people can see what they're getting. Then if you want to buy it, all you need to do is click add to cart, go to your cart, and then you can proceed to check out you can include things like promotion codes, but people can either pay with their card or Google Pay. So you've got two great options there included within the store. To accept transactions on your Everbee store, all you need to do is connect with Stripe. So that's what I've done here. All I did was enter my email and my business information, and contact number, those kind of things. Connected it here, and then whenever anyone enters their credit card information, it's all handled by Stripe. So that's super, super easy. I think it's a 2% transaction fee. That might be slightly incorrect, it might be 1%, um, but I think it's a 2% transaction fee. So all the fees that you're paying when you sell a book over on your own store is 2% instead of 40%. So the royalty is so much higher. And I know you need to advertise to get people to your store, but when you're selling books on Amazon, when you're selling books on Etsy, you need to advertise anyway. Long gone are the days of just pumping books out there and expecting sales. So perhaps instead of paying for advertising on Amazon, you pay for advertising directly to your store. That way you're owning your business, you're not giving anyone else a big cut of your income and you can grow over time. Now this might not be perfect for everyone, but if you're an author or you're publishing a series of books and perhaps you have a decent email following or you've got social media following, Building your own store could be a great option for you. It's very, very easy to do with Everbee. Check out my video in the corner now if you want to see how to set up your Everbee store. But if you want to check it out for yourself, check out the link in the description below. Or if you want to check out this store for yourself, you can go to lilyrose.myeverbee.com. That's a free custom URL that came with this store. You can also connect your own pretty domain name if you want to. But yeah, really excited about this option. Now, I'm not sure how successful selling digital coloring books is gonna be, but one thing that I was thinking is maybe setting up a subscription model, where someone, say, pays $10 a month, and within that fee, they'll receive 100 different coloring pages, maybe some activity books. If I can think about what would be a quite in-demand subscription model around Amazon KDP, I think that's probably the way I will go in the future. But for now, I'm gonna test this digital coloring book store and I'll let you know how I get on. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss my future videos. Thanks for checking this one out. And I'll see you in the next one.